welcome back, everybody. As most of you probably know by now, over the weekend, two L.A. County sheriff deputies were ambushed in their car, shot by somebody who presumably supports Black Lives Matter. Although, no doubt, and you can mark my words on this, that the media will work overtime separating this shooter from the BLM movement. I know this based on experience, because this isn't the first BLM-related police shooting, and the media always does the same thing. And they'll do that by covering up all news that's inconvenient to that narrative. For example, the BLM protesters that stormed the hospital where these two uh, sheriff deputies were fighting for their lives, blocking an ER entrance and chanting, quote, death to police and we hope they die. And this is nothing new for BLM or the groups associated with them. They're known for chants calling for violence against police officers and white people. Other examples of this are Black Lives Matter leaders across the country openly calling for violence. Hank Newsom, chairman of BLM's Greater New York chapter openly called for war against the police. Outright claimed to be, quote, developing a highly trained military arm to challenge police brutality head on in the wake of George Floyd's death in Minneapolis. One would think that an organization that has racked up the body count that BLM has would receive a little bit more scrutiny from the media. But no, ABC News did report on the shooting, but neglected to mention that inconvenient detail about the BLM scumbags arriving at the hospital to try and instigate more violence. And we're going to get into all that video, but first give me a quick 30 second capitalism break to thank this episode's sponsor, Biotrust Ageless Multicollagen. After 20 years old, your body will naturally decrease its collagen production by 12% each passing decade. This is a leading reason as to why skin appears thinner and more wrinkled as we age. Ageless Multi Collagen provides you with the five types of collagen your body needs and one complete protein. You'll enjoy powerful support for your body with results you can see and feel in a few short weeks. Get Ageless Multi Collagen for 51% off plus free shipping by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com or by clicking the link in the video description box below. Good morning, Eve. Uh, this morning, the suspect who ambushed two Los Angeles deputies in Compton last night is still on the run. They were alert enough right after the shooting to radio in their own help. Their department tweeting, they are both still fighting for their lives and in critical condition. Those deputies were identified as a 31-year-old mother of a 6-year-old and a 24-year-old man. Isn't it strange that they wouldn't mention the BLM protesters showing up to instigate more violence? And I did a pretty extensive search looking for any mention of this incident by the Democrat Party media and unsurprisingly came up almost completely empty. I did manage to find that NBC News, of all people, actually did report on this incident. This attack is the latest after a summer of confrontations between police and protesters. President Trump weighing in on Twitter saying the shooter is an animal that must be hit hard. And last night uh, there was a small protest at the hospital where the sheriff's department says they arrested several protesters who were blocking the entrance of the hospital and shouting death to police. Willie, back to you. My gosh. Uh, Gotti Schwartz, an ugly scene there in Los Angeles County. Thanks so much. Since then, even more video has surfaced of these people who are presumably supporters of BLM and will be voting for Joe Biden. Instead of helping or going to get help, they just laugh and mock at these wounded deputies who are fighting for their lives. Stop. 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 <laughs> Nigga just aired the police out, nigga. They just aired the police out, nigga. It go up and come. Them niggas just got aired out, cuz. Nigga on a knee. Damn. Police just got aired out, nigga. They just got bust on, nigga. All of this was very predictable. I predicted it. Many others predicted it. It's not that we're psychic. It's just that it's obvious that this will be the outcome with the media cherry picking stories and omitting data that's inconvenient to their narrative. You see shit like this posted by supposedly reputable news organizations like CBS. 
which is clearly meant to incite rage and paranoia of police officers. If you're gonna do this, why not just list everyone shot by cops? Why just list the black people? Like, where's all the white people shot by cops? What are the details of these shootings? Were they legitimate? They don't seem to care. They only seek to generate hate and rage for the purposes, I guess, of beating Trump in the election. Not to mention Democrat politicians openly supporting the violence against police, like this Democrat city manager who posted this on his Instagram. Now I did a search and you can find lots of stories about this on the internet, even from a couple news organizations. But what's missing? Two things. I'm not seeing any outrage or hand wringing from the mass network or cable media outside of Fox News. And two, I'm not seeing any scrutiny or criticism of BLM or the associated groups. We're not seeing any panels on CNN or MSNBC flailing in horror about the BLM movement like we would if this were a right wing group. Compare the media silence now to their behavior when the Tea Parties were going strong against Barack Obama. The media was jumping at any chance to connect the Tea Party to any shooting that happened. Why? Because they wanted the Tea Party to be silenced and demonized out of existence. Not so with the far left communist and Marxist movements like BLM and Antifa. And I have no doubt that any DNC media talking head who does comment on any of these incidents will say something along the lines of, oh, these are just fringe elements and not representative of the larger group. Yet when one cop shoots somebody, whether it was law Awful or not, suddenly the 600,000 plus other cops need to be defunded and hunted down. CBS posted that tweet saying that 184 black people have been shot by police in 2020 without mentioning if any of those shootings were lawful or not. They don't want people distinguishing between a lawful shooting and a murder. It's all the same while they completely ignore police shootings of any other kind, giving a very false picture of what's actually going on out there. I encountered the results of this propaganda while interviewing people at an anti-gun rally in Ohio. I posed the question to people, are we supposed to be against all police? Police shootings or are there police shootings that are legitimate self-defense I think all these these are all issues that have to be addressed right but they're way more complicated than what's being how it's being presented like it's very black and white here where it's actually a lot more complicated than that like every time a cop shoots a black anytime a cop has to shoot anybody it's bad but is it always I mean is it ever justified I mean I would think sometimes maybe even the majority of the time it is justified but it's treated as though if it happens it's wrong you know, and I think that sort of black and white isn't helping. I mean, because that, that's going to, you might, it might play to the base, but if you're trying to get people in the middle or even on the right, it, there's no way, you know. Oh, okay. The media is all about deception, coercion, and control. They think that they can control this mob, but as we've already seen, like at the CNN headquarters, the mob will eventually turn on them. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so by using one of the platforms listed in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.